What's up you guys? So listen, Gabe and I had a hectic couple of days. Crazy. We had the 720S for two days in a yeah. row. We had the Huracan after the oil change. We did a crazy adventure. Unfortunately, there's so much content and I need to be on a ferry in an hour and a half, so I'm already pushing this, but I didn't leave, want to leave you guys hanging. Gabe runs Seven Figure Entrepreneur. Check out his podcast. It's on iTunes. I'll drop a link in the description yeah. below. Essentially on Seven Figure Entrepreneur, he wanted to interview other people in the same industry we're working, which is the online marketing space. So other people in e-commerce, people who are affiliate marketers, and all those sorts of different players in the field. We always wanna do a video that brings you guys some real solid, uh, real solid? <laughs> That's so funny, I'm combining words. Real solid knowledge and value and so that's what this video is all about so if you're looking for a car adventure vlog it's coming tomorrow morning i promise i'm going to stay up as late as it takes to get the video done but right now gabe and i are going to talk about literally the steps you can take to starting an online business right now this is not like stuff that worked years ago or a year ago or months ago this is currently what gabe does to earn his income his store this month has done almost half a million dollars in revenue he's had months where they've done over a million dollars so this is no joke now, it's not gonna be a full-on tutorial holding your hand, but there's definitely more than enough information that most people would have to scour the internet through the BS to get to the gold. We're gonna give you the gold. So step one yeah. is you use Shopify for your storefront uh, platform, the website. Yeah, at Shopify. Shopify, <laughs> Shopify. I've been to Shopify HQ, that's why I have this. Um, but yeah, we use Shopify, and the cool thing about it is, is it's very like plug and play, so anyone can use it. Right. Um, and what's also really awesome about it is they have so many apps. So if there's something you really want to see uh, on your site, there is an app for that. Like you can almost do whatever. Like you can add uh, bulk buying if you want to sell multiple products. Um, you can have like call to action notifications say like, oh, someone in this area just bought this product. And that gives your product more credibility. Like there's tons of apps. So I'm not going to go into all of them because that right. would take a long time. But uh, yeah, we use Shopify because it's the easiest platform. Um, it syncs with PayPal and Stripe, which is a really well-known payment gateway, uh, and it's really easy to use. Anyone can build uh, product pages and an entire store in like a day if you really figured it out, so it's not that bad. Right, so just to break it down, what Shopify is, is instead of having to go out back in the day, I'm gonna trade arms for two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Instead of having to go back in the day and, and hire a web designing team to build you a whole website. Yeah. This is a plug and play already like systemized yeah. website that you can buy a shop domain and link it to this and, and basically you're up and running with just a few clicks. It's it's kind of like the WordPress of of e-commerce stores, right? So you know how Boom. you know how WordPress has tons of themes, Shopify has the same thing. You can make your store look like anything you want and then there's a theme that you can just plug and play onto that, good to go. Cool. And so it gets rid of all the coding cuz the coding's done for you. Yeah. I don't it's, know how to code. They, I they don't make know it drag code. and yeah. drop and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the storefront. Now, how do you find products? I'm going to use my arm yeah, here. Yeah, you can. We can we can lean. We're on my standing desk right now, so we're good. Oh, there we go. That's actually perfect. Going up. So the next thing is, is people are gonna wonder, okay, I've got, I've got Shopify, you can go and watch tutorials, how to set it all up, um, that's all on, online for free. How do you get a product? How do you find a product? So how do you, how do you what are you doing? So we use AliExpress. Uh, we, we people find might it, not know what that is. Okay, so AliExpress is basically um, a China gateway for vendors uh, to put products that they have out of China um, online that you can buy. Right. Um, and it's usually marked down quite cheaply too. So, I mean, we can just like, we can pull up AliExpress we'll show you if guys. you guys want. We'll show you. Um, just give you a quick rundown. So people buy product or have a whole bunch of product. So yeah. it could be like walkie talkie watches. It could be drones, headphones, blankets, shoes, like you name it, you guys. So here's one thing I just, here's. I actually just posted this in our group as something that could be a top seller and it's so silly, but it's a clip on light that goes onto your toilet and you can change it from any color. And most of you guys are thinking like, oh, that's stupid, right? But women pee all the time and so do little kids. So this is a great product for a lot of people to use. So weird stuff like this that is like not overly expensive, like this costs you like $2.73 to buy from AliExpress and you can mark that up to like 15 bucks, 20 bucks 
and make a good market off that. So this is, Gabe, you're telling me that this is basically like a, a toilet nightlight. Toilet nightlight, yeah, that clips on the side. And I mean, it's, it's actually kind of brilliant. It is, it is brilliant. Um, so you bought, you could buy it for two dollars and seventy three cents. Yeah. And you could say, say you marked it up a hundred percent. It would only, it'd still be sub six bucks. Yeah, um, but then you gotta, con like for us, you gotta take into consideration ad costs, which, yeah. so we try to mark everything up like three to one. So if something costs us five bucks, yeah. we wanna sell it for 15 because we want, we know that we're gonna spend about $5 you in advertising. Room. Yeah, you need room. Um, and so another way that you can tell if this is a good uh, product yep. is there's an order rating right there on on this vendor here and uh, they got stars, so they got 4.9 stars, which is great, and they have 408 orders. So there's a high probability that they fulfilled these orders. Um, they don't have bad reviews, which is great to check out. Um, another thing that's really cool is right here, there's a wish list. So this has been added 228 times. It's not a lot of times, but it shows that there's people that want that product. Um, Cause you can go here and just click, I want this, I wanna add this to wish list. So, those are like three keys to finding a good uh, supplier on AliExpress and a good product. So there you go, guys. You can go to AliExpress is what it looks like right yep, here. AliExpress. Right there, the website. You can search hundreds if not thousands of products. Yeah. And the way to qualify both the buyer's uh, credibility and um, the product uh, demand, I guess in the marketplace, yep. is by those things that Gabe just uh, pointed out. You can also sort by orders too. Sorry, one more thing. Like hey, let's cool. let's just type in flashlight here, for example. Okay, flashlight. Uh, so you there's an order tab right here. You can sort by orders, yep. and it'll put the top one up up at the top. Look at how many orders this has. This has thirty thousand orders. Like that's insane, right? So that's a hot product. Hot product. Um, yeah, and it's it's been proven because clearly a lot of people are buying it. Um, and also this vendor's good because he's got uh, three crown rating, which is which is great. So some of them have a single or some have diamond. Like that one's good too. So we go for like diamond or crown. This is very similar. It reminds me of like eBay rating. It is. Yeah, it's it's like eBay for sure. So it's a good way to relate it. Um, yeah. Most people have used eBay at some point in their life, and you know that you look for a good seller uh, yeah. based or buyer based on the rating. Same here. Exact same thing. Yeah. And you know that that's super, super simple. Yeah. So you can go on here and find products that are in high demand based on that order uh, filter mm -hmm. and away you go. So let's say someone starts their Shopify site. They yep. came on here and they're like, well, I'm going to open a Shopify site and I'm going to start with a, a handful of products. How many products would you say minimum you don't want to try to start testing? More the better, obviously, because some are going to fail and that's just how it goes. So I would suggest starting with five to 10. Um, take the time to build it out. It's not that challenging. Um, a lot of the descriptions, a lot of the images are on these AliExpress uh, write-ups. So you can just take them and put them on your site. Cool. The next thing is is uh, to touch on with AliExpress, you don't have to pre-buy the product. Yeah, that's right. So you're basically taking your customer's money once they've created that order for you. Right. So quick, let's just break it right yeah. down. Someone wants to take the flashlight. Yeah. They save this image and the info from that description, yeah. they put it onto their Shopify site. Yeah. And says, they now say, I'm selling this flashlight, there's the image from, from AliExpress. Mm -hmm. You take the price that it quotes you to buy them, right? Yeah. Triple whatever. the price. Yeah, triple the price. Let's say triple yeah. the price. And someone uh, comes across your website or now you're gonna push the traffic, which we'll talk about. That's yeah. kind of the third yeah. key here. But that's it, Some to back it up, just to keep it full circle. Yeah. Let's say someone went and bought that flashlight. You make a sale, you then take the person's money that they gave you through Shopify, goes to your bank account, you then come back to AliExpress and you fulfill the order. Yeah, and it's such, and you can do that all in the same day. So we, when we get an order that day, yeah. we send out a big spreadsheet every night with all of our orders on it. And so that person's order is being fulfilled as fast as possible, right? Right. And they don't, and they don't really know the difference so right. much. Um, I mean, the packaging is, is out of China, but most of the time, if the product's good and you're delivering what you say you will, people are generally happy about it. Like we have tons of like good, great reviews yeah. on our site. Yeah, you have a, your, one of your stores is like camping gear. So you've sold flashlights. Yeah, yeah, sold flashlights. A ton of them. It was one of the, it was one of the um, products that got me into uh, this, this niche and this whole uh, Shopify thing. And cool. I actually, I have a full video talk where I talked about how I got into this and stuff and it's, uh, it's on my YouTube. So is it? Yeah. We'll give a shout out to that and people yeah. can watch that for more. It's info. Uh, I think it's just seven figure entrepreneur. And um, it, is it seven with the number seven? 
I'll have to double check that, but we'll it, is, it, it. Is, it is the number for sure, yeah. I I'll get that. it clear because before I put this video up, I'll put it in the description. Yeah. So let's move on. So you got yeah. someone's got their Shopify site up, they've picked a product off AliExpress, let's say the flashlight, it's on their site. Yeah. Now they wanna drive traffic to their Shopify site and start making sales. Uh, we both use Facebook ads. Yeah, we do. So how do you make a Facebook ad for a flashlight? So generally one, speaking. the number one thing you want to do with your advertisements is you want to make the product clear yeah um, and you want to you one thing that we've noticed really works is the product being usable right so like if you just had this pen for example sitting on a white background that's pretty boring yeah but if you have this pen and me writing with this pen yeah it shows its usability right. therefore people can relate to it more so therefore you have a higher probability of selling it so if you had a video of someone using the flashlight exactly demonstration is key right and you can even demonstrate via image if you don't have the video editing skills that you need mm -hmm. but honestly just an iPhone image or an iPhone video will also work great so you could shoot your own video using the products so you could order one of these products yes yeah, 100% cost Dem you three bucks or whatever yeah. ship it to your house demonstrate the product uh, on video from your camera phone mm -hmm. take that video you made upload it to your shop or sorry upload it to Facebook yep. as an ad yeah and then you can just uh, put your links on top of that and we also find that using emojis in the ad copy works yeah. really well too it makes it bright it stands out in the news feed yeah. people love that it's show. comical yeah it's great so yeah. um all we do is a little write-up about what it is like hey you're gonna love this like this is our cool flashlight and yeah. then like click here links here and then some emojis and Makes then a sense. great video or a great image okay guys so we followed through with those three steps remember that if you're using facebook and you're like well i don't know how to use facebook ads all you need to know is this. Step one, you need a Shopify site. Yep. Step two, you need a product. We just told you you can find products, how to find products, how to filter them, both based on uh, market supply and demand and also how to basically take the images in the description right off of AliExpress, yep. which saves you from having to pre-buy any of the product, uh, distribute it, or sorry, ship it, or warehouse yep. it, or any of that stuff. So it's all virtual. And then we're explaining you can use Facebook ads as your means of distribution and creating ads to test all these products. And you wanna basically be somewhat conservative. You know, you don't wanna spend a ton of money doing this. Yeah. So you can test an ad. Five bucks a day. Five bucks a day Yeah. on Facebook. That's it, that's it. You know, you'll get obviously more data and more feedback spending a little bit more money, but even 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Um, and what you need to do is analyze that data. What are you paying yeah. you know, for the price of the ad? All sorts of stuff. And there'll be tutorials right from Facebook. They want oh, you yeah. to spend money on their platform. They will break down exactly how to set up an ad, how to monetize it, what to look for. Facebook shows you how to do that. Yeah, there's lots of YouTube stuff too, man. There's like tons of basic, basic yeah. like how to set up ads, you know? Right. Like there's so much info out there. If you just Google what you're looking for, you will find it. So. There you guys have it, right from Gabe at Seven Figure Entrepreneur. Yeah. You guys need to thank Gabe in the comments because he's totally like no holds barred showing you the three yeah. steps to what he's doing to make a million a month in revenues. Yeah. It's nuts. So yeah. thanks brother for that. Yeah, no problem, man. I like, hope you guys have lots of value in that. Yeah. And the whole goal of this is on a DDE level, you guys, I want the DDE fam. If you guys have hopes and dreams and aspirations of owning a supercar and maybe your current career just isn't getting you that or you don't see the yeah. path, online marketing or the online sales uh, is just, it's the quickest, fastest way to sell the most stuff to the most amount of people. That's how you make big money in today's day and age. So yeah, get out there and grind. It's gonna take a ton of work, some patience and persistence I yeah, just, but even like, and even if you don't do Shopify or affiliate marketing or whatever, yeah. online, there's so much stuff you can do. Like yeah. it's, as long as you just start digging in, yeah. you'll find a way to make money and it'll, it'll create so much freedom for you. Cause like I work from home every day. I just took two days off work to go shoot videos with Damon. And yeah. like, I don't want to pitch that like freedom lifestyle bullshit. Cause like there's so many gurus out there that like pitch that stuff. Yeah. But like, it's I, true. I actually just kicked it with you yeah. for two days and we shot yeah. stuff for DDE because that's fun to me. Like that was exciting. I don't make money off that. I don't like, it's just, it's, it's true. great. It's hanging great. out with, hanging out with your homie. And yeah. while we were out, you have full access though to everything off your phone. Yeah, or 100%. Your laptop. Like I can check my, my Shopify stats uh, while we're out. Like I'll, I'll hide that, but like that's this month's sales. Yeah. Like that's today's total sales, you know, like. 14K today while he drove around with me in a 720S. 
not bad. Well, yeah. you guys, smash that subscribe button, throw us a thumbs up on this video if this is super helpful. We're gonna do tons more, and uh, Gabe and I are in the works too. We got all sorts of good stuff for you. Yeah. Make sure you go and get on the uh, podcast because there's gonna be tons of little bits of information, yeah. golden nuggets. These guys talk to guys who do millions a month and yeah. they give up all sorts of great info. And they've all started from like a smaller, like there's some bigger dudes that have been doing this for a while, but a lot of people started in the last like year, like in like 2017 and they're doing like over a mil. It's pretty crazy, so crazy. Link in the description. Okay guys. I just wanted to do that, link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm gonna have those vlogs of our crazy adventures in the supercars They're up good. by tomorrow. They are very good. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned. Love you guys. Peace. Thanks, bro.